TikTok owner ByteDance has been accused of scraping, basically stealing content from Instagram and Snapchat and putting it on its older app Flipagram. So ByteDance owns TikTok and they have made a bunch of different fake accounts taken from Instagram, Snapchat, social media platforms, and they posted them on Flipagram in 2017. Now the company is reporting here that they're taking videos, the usernames, pictures, and more from social media platforms, and this is a kicker, uploaded them to the app without users' consent or knowledge. Now, BuzzFeed News spoke with four former ByteDance employees. They had begun scraping shortly after the company had acquired Flipagram in January 2017. When they got to look at the internal documents, BuzzFeed News it says indicate that the scraping was seen as a growth hack for the company and that one employee said that ByteDance's goal was to scrape more than 10,000 videos a day. Now, they might call it a growth hack. I call it stealing people's pictures because I've seen it to where people have had their pictures posted on some other random account on social media and that's they didn't do that. They say, don't add this account. This is not me. But 10,000 videos a day? Now, two of the employees said the scraping was used to train and inform ByteDance's For You algorithm, which is currently used today by TikTok and its Chinese equivalent. Now, the problem in this is that they want to use this to train for their algorithm, but they're stealing people's videos and pictures. Well, I guess they call it scraping. I call it stealing myself. I, this is not a good look at all right now, especially with the controversy around TikTok and this whole thing about the data. And this is not, not a good look, I think, not at all. The internal documents will include references to the scrape data and reasons explaining why the company was doing so. Don't care. That's not cool. Don't do it. In one document, an employee explained that the scrape content could be used to test which types of videos perform best on the platform, and they noted that current users could mimic the content to enhance their own videos and gain popularity. Now, this is very, very bad because they are still taking data and putting it somewhere else that was not consented to. If you want more news like this, subscribe to the channel and let me know what you think in the comments. I'm Austin. Thank you for watching.